Do you believe that there are batteries in this world that can last for 28,000 years without charging? Most people probably think this is bragging. However, the NDB company in the United States does not think so, because the nuclear power battery they have developed has made great progress, which may mean that the life of the battery may really reach such a terrible point. So, what results did their research get? Is there really a battery that lasts 28,000 years without charging? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Okay, let's get started. Before officially introducing the products of NDB Corporation in the United States, we need to briefly understand what a nuclear power battery is. Everyone is already quite familiar with nuclear energy. Whether it is a nuclear power plant that relies on nuclear fission to operate, or today's controllable nuclear fusion, it can be seen that humans have been studying nuclear energy. Nuclear power battery, also known as atomic energy battery, nuclear battery, or even isotope thermoelectric generator, was born in 1913 when the famous scientist Henry Mosley discovered related technologies. Decades after the invention of nuclear batteries, Human beings ushered in the space exploration era, so the development of nuclear batteries has attracted more attention. Its ultralong life is very suitable for installing on detectors to explore the universe. Of course, it is necessary to mention here that a nuclear battery is different from a nuclear reactor, because it does not use a chain reaction to generate energy, but uses the energy from the decay of radioactive isotopes and converts it into electricity. Nuclear batteries can generally be divided into two categories, namely thermal conversion nuclear batteries and non-thermal conversion nuclear batteries. The former mainly uses isotopes that can emit heat energy. After they decay and release a large amount of heat energy, the heat energy is converted into electrical energy through the photoelectric effect or thermoelectric effect. The latter uses the beta particles released after the decay of the isotope to generate electricity. In addition, because the isotopes of the two are different, the power generation methods are also different, so the efficiency of energy generation is also different. The energy efficiency of the non-thermal conversion type is around 6% to 8%, while that of the thermal conversion type is 0.1% to 5%. In addition to having a longer life than ordinary batteries and being able to output more energy, nuclear batteries are also a product of turning waste into treasure. Because in the more than 100 years since its birth, people have developed a method of using nuclear waste as a raw material to manufacture nuclear batteries. For example, in 2016, the World Nuclear News website pointed out that the University of Bristol in the United Kingdom has developed a nuclear power battery that uses radioactive waste to generate electricity. According to the data, they have created a kind of artificial diamond, as long as nuclear waste is put inside the diamond, it can start to generate electricity. Tom Scott, a professor at the university's Center for Interface Analysis, said, the technology involves no moving parts, no emissions, and no maintenance, but simply generates electricity directly. By encapsulating radioactive material inside diamond, we turn the problem of long-term management of radioactive waste into a nuclear power battery and long-term clean energy supply. The nano-diamond battery developed by NDB Corporation of the United States is actually based on the related technical achievements of the University of Bristol, but they have also made some improvements. So, what results has NDB achieved? According to the data, the technology of using waste graphite blocks to extract diamonds previously developed by the University of Bristol has a very slow energy output and is suitable for low-power long-term use. NDB, on the other hand, increased the total energy output by adding multiple layers of diamond and nuclear waste, taking into account the current required for larger power devices. In addition, the company's developers claim that the nano-diamond battery they developed has a one-time power supply time of up to 28,000 years. During this period, people do not need to recharge or replace the battery. 
NDB's technology is mainly to purify carbon-14 in nuclear waste and turn it into smaller carbon-14 diamonds. In this case, these diamond structures act as semiconductors and heat sinks to collect and transfer charges. In simple terms, nanoscale diamonds are actually equivalent to a medium. Its function is not only to conduct electric charges, but also rely on its own hard characteristics to lock nuclear waste firmly inside. After all, nuclear waste is radioactive, and if it is accidentally exposed, it may have a huge impact on human health. In general, the new progress made by NDB in the research of nuclear power batteries, firstly, the power of its output energy has been improved, and secondly, its service life has been extended again. However, this 28,000 years is still a theoretical limit, and it needs further improvement and verification to maintain such a long life in reality. From this point of view, charging will not become a thing of the past. It can only be said that the frequency of charging may be reduced in the future, and everyone will no longer need to carry a power bank when going out. It is worth mentioning that NDB is still very confident in this. They believe that the development of a new nuclear power battery can not only be used in various electronic devices, but also provide assistance for space exploration. On its official website, there is a slogan the excitement of exploring the unknown drives the human desire to explore space. In addition, whether the new nuclear power battery can be used for tens of thousands of years is not important to humans. Because the gap between our lifespan and the battery life of tens of thousands of years is too great, as long as it can be used for hundreds of years, it is enough for human beings. Finally, there are serious questions about whether such batteries are safe enough. After all, this is nuclear waste radiation. If the ceiling of this battery is not as good as they advertise, then it is quite dangerous to choose to use nuclear power batteries, because it will expose our bodies to the radiation environment most of the time. So, from the NDB's innovation, what will the future development trend of nuclear power batteries be like? The first is to think about finding intermediate structures, or energy conversion materials. People have already segmented materials to the nanometer level, and may move towards a more microscopic field in the future. After selecting suitable materials, not only the safety of the nuclear battery needs to be improved, but also its power generation efficiency needs to be improved. It is believed that the rise of third-generation semiconductors will definitely help nuclear batteries develop towards higher performance. The second is the choice of isotope. At this stage, the isotopes used in many nuclear batteries are relatively rare, which will lead to high battery costs. Also, some isotopes have a self-absorption effect, resulting in a very limited release of energy. The future trend may be to use tritium as the main element, because it has a high energy density, is non-toxic and non-polluting, and has relatively large reserves on the Earth. The last is to study newer power generation principles, such as isotope batteries based on tube-like nanowire piezoelectric materials and coupled arrays of nanothermoelectric materials that already exist. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. See you.